رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين So as scheduled then the test for the lessons 1 to 8 was sent out today a bit later than expected um, so what we're going to do we're going to go through um, the test and also what the test shows if we can see the responses so 216 people responded so far and then it gives us the average of of the questions and the average of what people were missing out on so the average was alhamdulillah 42 out of 50 the median was 43 and yes and these two questions were the ones that most people got wrong so 27 people out of 216 got this one wrong and 85 uh, people out of 216 were incorrect on this one it doesn't necessarily mean well in one of them it does that they were wrong but some people may have understood something a little bit differently than what was uh, requested nevertheless we'll go through them so the first questions were choose the current the correct pronoun to match the following nouns so obviously we had naqa so it would have been hadihi uh, hamza obviously this um so one of my uh common uh strategies in doing tests is to try and trick people to see those who are paying attention to those uh who aren't so for example i slipped in hamza very quickly because people may not even read the word and they would just see the the term arbuta, and they would just think hadihi straight away so but it was hada because hamza even though it's a it's feminine in its construction it's a male name a masculine name so it's hada so you wouldn't say hadihi hamza you say hada hamza uh, kelb, no problem. Hada, qidrun, as well. We studied that it was hadihi qidrun. Anfun, then it would be hada, and then yadun would be hadihi, because we learned that bodily parts which which are in twos, then they are feminine. And then we had Maryam again. Those who uh, and we're just looking for the ta al marbuta at the end of the word. We'll just assume, and without reading it, we'll assume that this is masculine. But it's hadihi maryamu. Samak and hada. And then miftahu sayyarati. Okay, so it would be hada because we're talking about the key and not the car. We're talking about the car key. So it would be hada miftahu sayyarati. Uh, then bintul mudarrisi again if you see i changed them around so we put masculine and then i put feminine so bintul mudarrisi it would be hadihi shamsun as we mentioned it's muannath that it's also feminine tilka shamsun qamarun masculine dalika and then rajulun would be dalika rajulun rijlun Again, it requires for you to pay attention and to read the word properly. Rijlun, see, it's a bodily part which comes in pairs, so it'd be tilka rijlun. Battatun, tilka battatun. Tarajatun, tilka tarajatun. And then we had sa'atu abbasin, so it'd be tilka, because we're talking about the watch and abbas. Baqaratul fallahi, tilka. And then choose the correct sifa to match the nouns. So we had al ma'u, so it was either baridatun and harun. So it obviously would be harun because masculine and masculine. So if the noun is masculine, 
then its uh, adjective has to be masculine also. So it wouldn't be baridatun because that has a ta. Asayaratu, jamilun or sariatun, so it's sariatun, so feminine, feminine. Al qamisu wasikhun, not wasikhatun. Um, then we had <clears throat> Fatimatu Talibatun again, feminine, feminine, and then Muawiyatu again, Muawiya is a boy, it's a man's name, even though it has the ta, so it would be Muawiyatu Tabibun, Muawiyatu Tabibun. Okay, then we had Mudiratul Madrasati Tawilun or Kasiratun, so it'd be Kasiratun, because we're talking about so the, the head teacher of the school is short. Qittu al Mudarisati, so Jamilun, because Qitt is feminine, uh, masculine, Mudakar. And then we have when Alif and Lam comes before a noun, it changes it from two dhammas to one, changes it from two dhammas to a kasra. So obviously it would be, it changes it from two dhammas to one dhamma. Baytun al-baytu. Uh, what, is the, uh, what is the lam called in al-baytu? Then it's lam al-ta'rif, the lam of definition. And then we have, which sentence is correct? <clears throat> so we have al-baytun jamilun. Al-baytu jamilun. So it'd be the second sentence because it has one dhamma at the end of al-bayt and not two as the first one does. So it would require that you looked at the screen carefully or it would have helped if you used a bigger monitor and not do it on your phone. Well, I don't advise anyone to do the work on their phone or to do the quizzes on their phones. Uh, use a larger monitor. It's always better. Uh, what are... Lam fi ala ila min known as, and that will be mudaf, mudaf an ilay or huruf al jar. Then they were the huruf al jar. What do fi ala ila min and the lam do? They cause nouns to end with a kasra. They make nouns definite or they connect nouns to other nouns. Then it's number one. They cause nouns to end with a kasra. And then we had choose the correct one for the following sentences. So we had al qalamu, so it would have been al qalamu al al maktabi. Mm -hmm. So I tried to use the the, an, uh, the different preposition would be one that wouldn't suit it at all, and it wouldn't make much sense if we said al qalamu min al maktabi. The pen is from the desk. So it's al qalamu al al maktabi. Then we had ذهبت عائشة في أو إلى. No, we say ذهب with the verb ذهب. We say إلى ذهب إلى. Not ذهب في. So ذهب عائشة إلى السوق. Aisha went to the market. And then أنا في أو على أو من. So it's أنا من الياباني. I am from Japan. And Aina Khadija to here min ila fi so it'd be fil fi al hammami fi al hammami she's uh should be she's in the bathroom then al Rahmanu ala al arshistawa so it'd be ala which is an ayah from the Quran the most merciful istawa ala al arsh that he rose above the throne. هذا البيت then it would be lam or ala so it would be we just add the lam to the alif and lam so it would be هذا البيت للمدرسي this house belongs to the teacher and then what is the ya called is it حرف الجار ياء التعريف or حرف النداء then it's the third one حرف النداء and then what ya causes the noun to do what? Uh, to take one lama instead of two 
or it makes the noun definite, then it would be it it causes it um, it causes the the noun to end with one dhamma instead of two. So number one. Then we have what is the difference between masculine and feminine names? So masculine names end with one dhamma and feminine names end with two. All masculine names end with two dhamma and feminine names end with one. So generally we've studied that it's number two. So the masculine names end with two dhammas. Feminine names end with one. Then we have mudaf does not like two things. What are they? When we studied mudaf and mudaf in lay, tanween and alif alam, or kasra and tanween, or kasra and alif alam, and it's number one. We studied that it doesn't like tanween, two lammas, two fathas, two kasras, and it doesn't accept alif alam also. Then mudaf and ilay is always what is it? It has tanween or has alif and lam, and or it always takes a kasra. Then number three, it always takes a kasra. Baytullahi, kitabullahi. Uh, which of the following sentences is mudafun ilay? So we had, we had to just look at them carefully. So the first one says al baytu Muhammadin. So it can't be that one because. Al Baytu has Alif and Lam. And it was the second one, Baytu Muhammadin. And it couldn't be Bayt, uh, Muhammadun Baytun, because that means Muhammad is a house. Muhammadul Bayti doesn't make any sense. So it's number two, Baytu Muhammadin. Which of the uh, same one? So we had Sayyaratul Mudarrisi, or we had say Al Mudarrisu Sayyaratin. As-sayyaratu al mudarrisu So it would be the first one Because that's the one that is following all the correct rules For mudaf, mudaf and ilay Which of the following sentences? Yeah, same one So we had kitabu man hadha Or ahadha kitabun Or al-kitabu jadidun So the bottom two They don't have mudaf, mudaf and ilay So this again was a bit of a trick one So it would be the first one Kitabu man hadha. So that would be those who are really paying attention. So kitab is mudaf and man is mudaf on ilay. As we've covered many times. So moving on. Um, the hamza, ma, madha, meta, and man are all what? Are they prepositions? Are they adjectives or are they questions? Then they are questions. Hamzatu, Mu'awiyatu, Talhatu, Khuzaymatu are feminine names, are feminine names but only named for males, or they're masculine names for females. Then it's number two. They are feminine names but can only be named for males. Okay, so this one was read the ayah and then answer the questions. I was going to put more questions. I should have been answered the question. How many times is there harfu jar? So pay attention to this one. <clears throat> so if we read the ayah, Ya ayyuhan nas, u'budu rabbakum. So there's no harfu jar there. Alladhi khalaqakum walladhina min qabalikum la'allakum tattaqoon. So we have one harfu jar, which is here, which is min. So that's the first one. So we're counting. That's one. And then الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء وأنزلنا من السماء. So that's two. من السماء ماء فأخرج به so the ba here is the third one. Min thamarati. Min is the fourth one. Rizqan lakum. Fala tajalu lillahi. Lillahi lamul milk. That's the fifth one. And dadan wa antum ta'alamun. So then we have wa in kuntum fi raibin. Yuraibin fi. 
So that's the sixth one. Mimma nazalna ala abadina. So we have mimma, bit of a trick one here. So this mimma is min and it is ma stuck together. So that would be seven. So this mimma is a min and a ma. So a bit of a trick one. Mimma, uh, so that's seven. Nazalna ala abadina. So it's eight. Fatu bisuratin. Nine. Fatu bisuratin. Min mithlihi. Ten. Wadu shuhada akum. Min duni lahi in kuntum sadiqin. So that would be eleven. In total. Okay, I think many of you thought I got it wrong. So, obviously, the one that probably threw everybody off, or most of you, would be the mimma. When kuntum fi raibin mimma. So, this min is a min, and this ma is what is called ma al mausula. This ma means alladhi, alladhi, which. So when you put the two together, mimma, it means from that which nazalna, we sent down, ala abadina, upon our servant. So there was, so there was 11. But if you counted 10, then that was excellent also. Uh, you wasn't really expected to know the mimma. I just thought some people may uh, recognize it. And uh, then the sex one, uh, the, the next one was how many times does la mutarif appear in the ayah? <clears throat> so I'm only going to ask you here about uh, la mutarif that is clear, that we've studied and that everybody is aware of. So if we go for it, ya ayyuhan nasu ubadu, so it's the same ayah. So we have ya ayyuhan nas, so we have. Annas, which is one. Alladhi khalaqakum walladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. Alladhi ja'ala lakum al-arda. So we have al-ard. Two. Firashan wassama. Three. Wa anzalna mina sama. Four. Ma'an fa'akhraja bihi mina thamarati. Al-thamarati. Five, rizqan lakum. Fala tajalu lillahi and dadan wa antum ta'alamun. Wa in kuntum fi raibim mimma nazalna ala abadina, fat tu bisuratim min mithli, wa deru shuhada akum in kuntum mindunilahi in kuntum sadiqin. So I count five, which was a five in total. So some people who may have uh, been counting the alladhi with alif and lam, then that is also correct. But we haven't studied that, and that's quite advanced. So al uh, is a combination of alif and lam and the from the wa, the way. <clears throat> okay, so that will be five. And then the last one was ain Allahu, where is Allah? If you call makanin, obviously that's incorrect uh, in every place. That is incorrect from the aqidah of uh, of the Muslims. It's ar rahmanu ala al arsh istawa that the the most merciful that he rose, he made istawa above his throne, and the word istawa, which in the Arabic, as Imam Malik said when he was asked the question. When a man came to him in the Masjid Nabawi and he said to him, Ar Rahmanu ala al Arsh istawa. And he quoted the ayah and he says, Kayf istawa. How did he istawa? And Imam Malik said, Al istiwa ma'loom. That istiwa is well known. Everybody knows what it means. And he goes, Wal kayfi, wal kayfiya, or wal kayf majhool. But how? We don't know. Because no, none of us have seen it. So how can we know? 
Okay, so that's the Aqeed of the Muslim. Ar-Rahmanu ala al-Arsh istawa. So that was 50 in total. So all of you, um, so I don't know which individual answered which one. It just gives me a breakdown of uh, the percentages of the correct. So if you look at Qidrun, so I can see, first of all, Hamza 2, 82. So like 36% answered this incorrectly. And I can probably guarantee they didn't answer it incorrectly because they didn't know. They just weren't paying attention. And same as Qidrun, that we studied that Qidrun is feminine. And many people got it wrong again, 36%. Okay, the general, the, the other ones, a very high percent percentage. So now we'll um, entertain if anyone has any questions uh, related to the lesson. You can uh, ask in the chat. Okay, there's so many. It's, it, yes. Hold on. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We haven't really studied that, really. Yeah, that would have been really like catching people out. Okay. Um. regards to questions it's best to ask questions um when when we ask if there's any questions because they get lost when loads of people just start you know sending messages so some people just have conversations in the chat Okay, yeah, so a lot of this is conversations between people, so it always happens when we know the answers. Okay, so... Okay, so are there any questions about the... Can you exp... Okay, Hamza is asking, can you explain the ba preposition, please? The, the ba preposition has, it has many meanings, depending where it's used. So the ba... Uh, preposition could mean it could mean with like for example Allah says to Musa idrib bi'asaka al-hajara so Allah told Musa commanded Musa idrib strike bi'asaka with your staff asa it means a staff and the asaka, and the reason it doesn't have a kasra is because we studied in the last lesson the isa maqsur, um, which end with a uh, an alif, which is um, erected or broken. Asa is one of those words. So Allah said to him, "Idrib bi asaka al hajar, strike with your staff the stone." And then the ba, depending on where it's used, is isti'ana. They use it for for uh, in regards to worship. Every time you say the basmala bismillahi, you are seeking refuge, or sorry, you're seeking help or Allah's help. So it's worship, and then you have ba, which is sababiya for the reason. Uh, so um. I'm trying to think of example for Sebabiya. There's many. Um, anyway, nothing comes to mind. But it depends, depending on where it's used, then its meaning changes. But what we generally learn in the book is with. Min dunillah. Allah is We've just done that. Yeah, yeah. So everyone's repeating the same question. We are told that the word Allah 
that it's um, yeah alif and lam zaidun al ilah uh, ilahun so it's al ilahu yeah Allahu yes but as I said I I the 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 answers will generally be around what what we have studied. Barakallahu <clears throat> feek. Um, okay. So inshallah we will uh, we will do a quick lesson for about 30 minutes or so. So we'll start the ninth lesson, Bidnillah. Give me one minute. <clears throat>